What's going on YouTube? Coming back with a quick video here. In this video, I'm going over the easiest completions for the game sales of August 11th. Um, I did just make a long video showing every game that's on this and the completions and all that. So if you want to check every game out, you can do that in my last video that I have posted. But in this one, I'm just going over the easy completions and ones that I'll be personally either picking up or already have completed. So... I'll tell you what the games are, what they're on sale for, and all that. So first off, we're looking at the Walking Dead Michonne uh, collection right here. Normally, $14.99 is on sale for $3.74, but it's also available on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, just go there and pick it up. It's a 1,000 gamer score, 1,033 true achievements for 21 achievements. The completion time is 6 hours 50. I completed it in 6 hours 55 minutes. The game itself is two hours per episode, so three episodes you're looking at a uh, total of six hours. The next one is going to be Outbreak, the Nightmare Collection. I personally don't have this game, but we'll be picking it up, uh, the Nightmare Chronicles, sorry. Uh, the game itself is 1,000 gamer score, 1,137 true achievements, two to three hour completions, and I believe there are full walkthroughs because you have to solve puzzles and stuff. But it's on sale from $14.99 to $7.50, so it's half off right now. And we'll be picking it up for a two to three hour completion. Next, we'll be looking at Bomb Fist. Bomb Fist is a weird kind of game, to be honest. But I will be picking it up because it has a thousand gamer score for $14.58 true achievement. It's a two to three hour completion with 34 achievements. Instead of being $12.99, it is on sale for $1.94. So I will be picking up that game there. Um, let me know also if you see any on here that I skip that personally you think are easy games and stuff. Because I know for a while I was missing tracks on my uh, list of easy games. And then people were like, no, it's actually pretty easy uh, if you just follow the guides and all that. So... Just a quick honorable mention is this game right here called Monochrome Order. It's a thousand gamer score with 1,832 true achievements, 35 achievements, and only 49 people have played it, but 11 have completed it. But there's no uh, completion time on it, so that is why I'm not going to say pick it up or don't pick it up. Uh, if you let me know down in the comments, it's easy or anything, I will definitely mention it uh, going forward. But for now, I don't know enough about the game to get people to buy it just so they can possibly beat it the next one is the station this one is a very easy uh, completion I am picking this up right now get ready to buy it uh, it is a thousand gamer score for a thousand and forty five true achievements it's an under an hour completion there are full guides to the game that take about 23 minutes so definitely go and pick that up if you're looking for an easy game for a thousand gamer score as I am because I'm about to hit two thousand uh, 200,000 gamer score and I'd like to do it before the week's over so hopefully fingers crossed I'll finish that this week looking at the Darksiders next this game is a thousand gamer score 1677 true achievement it's a 20 to 25 hour completion um, it is on sale from 1999 to 399 as of now I don't see any there are missable achievements of course because this is a full game but there is a few stackables you need to complete the game on easy other than that um, that is really about it. There's no other things that you really have to do that are hard or anything, but there are some missable, so probably look the guide up before you do it. And then lastly, looking at stacking. This is a arcade game, 250 gamer score for 340 true achievement, 6 to 8 hours, 21 achievements. So this game is $14.99 on sale for $2.99, um, which is 80% off, I believe. So there you go. So in total, you're looking at uh, 1,000, 2,000, 2,250, 3,250, 4,250, 5,250. There you go. 5,250 easy gamer score. If you take out Darksiders, which is 20 to 25 hours and stacking, stacking is on the edge since it's only 250 gamer score. It's an easy completion, but it's six to eight hours. So if you take those two out, though, takes out about 35 uh, hours of this and you're looking at 4,000 gamer score for I believe um, total of eight hours and then the Michonne collection again is six so total will be 14 hours for all the gamer score but 
one's a story game that has no missable achievements, and the other have guides that you can finish them under two hours. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below, should I be doing more of these and such. Real quick, if you've stuck this far, as I mentioned in the other one, I'm going to be going over the complete game sales. Every Tuesday, you get new game sales in the morning uh, on Xbox for their deals with gold. If you go over to uh, the other video, you can see all of them that I've done. And then every week, uh, they put up a new sale of some sort uh, up on just Xbox Live in general. Uh, I will be going over some of those, but in those, I'm not going to do every game. Um, and these deals with gold, I'll do every game and then do a short video like this uh, explaining that. There are some easier games and things of that nature. Anyways, thanks for watching. Also, this is just completely off there. If anyone uh, is trying to complete 7 Days to Die, let me know. Uh, I just need the kill other players. And once I get that, I'll be pretty happy because that'll be a hard completion done off of my list. But that's just throwing that out there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully these are both up in time before you get up and just want to wonder about any of these games.